This is Big Marie. Hello! She likes you. <laughs> Looks like Quasi's gonna be just fine. Indisputably. He's tough. We may be hard as stone, but Quasi's stronger. I know. Whoa! Talking gargoyles? Excuse us for having personality. Hmm? You could stay here forever. No, I couldn't. Oh, yes. You have sanctuary. But not freedom. Gypsies don't do well inside stone walls. You helped me. Now, I will help you. But there's no way out. There's soldiers at every door. We won't use a door. It's all right. Uh, Are you ready? Uh, Didn't expect that. So how come you and Quasimodo are so close? We've been friends for years. More than a decade of camaraderie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He never leaves? Oh, he's not allowed to leave. Judge Frollo forbids it. Why? Care to pull up a stool? The short version is, Frollo thinks he's doing Quasi a favor by keeping folks from seeing that mug of his. After a lifetime of watching from the nosebleed seats, Quasi just wanted to go to the Feast of Fools. And we're so proud of him for finally working up the courage to do it. Tis a shame those creatures dashed his hopes. You should talk. When's the last time you looked in a mirror? Well, you broke it. Ah, a wise guy, eh? Knock it off, you couple of blockheads! I just hope this one failure doesn't cause Quasi to give up. He was so close. He can't let his heart be a prison. Don't worry. I'll go talk to him. Oh, my dear Quasimodo, you don't know what it's like out there. The world is cruel, and you are deformed and ugly. You will be shown little pity. You must believe me. I am your only friend. And how can I protect you, my dear boy, unless you stay in here? Remember, Quasimodo, this is your sanctuary. Yes, Master. Oh, hello again. Sora, was it? Hold it. You're that guy with Frollo. Easy. I'm not looking for any sort of fight. Finally, someone sensible. I'm Phoebus. Tell me, is she still safe in the cathedral? If she is Esmeralda, then Quasimodo helped her escape. At last. What's wrong? It's Judge Frodo. He's obsessed with destroying the gypsies, and his mind is in a dark place. When I objected to his barbarous actions, he banished me from the guard. What? That's not fair. Don't worry about me. Frollo said he's found the Court of Miracles, the Gypsy's Haven within the city. Esmeralda and her friends are in danger. Hmm? We have to find them and warn them before Frollo gets there. Huh? Quasimodo! Esmeralda's in trouble! Where did she go? I don't know. She... she vanished into the streets. 
She gave me this pendant. Esmeralda said this would help us find her. When you wear this woven band, you hold the city in your hand. <gasps> it's the city! It's a map, see? Here's the cathedral and the river. Go this way, cross the bridge, and... The Court of Miracles! Well done, Quasimodo. Yeah, Quasi, nice. Yes, I'm going to save her. Is she going to be all right? I'm fine. Thanks to Quasimodo. Quasimodo, where did the creature go? It's... it's up there. Right. Wait. Wait, I'll go with you. Thanks, but stay with her. Quasimodo, did your heart have the answer? <laughs> well, I guess you three got this covered. It was a walk in the park. How would you know? You don't have any legs. Yeah, but... Aw, oh, give me a break. It's just a figure of speech. Both of you pipe down and get ready, because here comes some more. Yeehaw! It's up there. Everything. You see, this is the power that has been granted to me. I see a sad old man with a dark heart. Again, you are wrong. Now you will be judged, just like the rest. You're Ansem! Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. But I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. 
I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Wait! He thinks I'm afraid of the dark? No. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light!